Mr. Willow, Manny Budnick, Mr. Willow, Waka the Padnick. Nina Mani, Nai Gana, Bieko, Mankalakla, Marawachanga, Gana, Mina. Minyana na mani puruji, nai nari kamatri marriage. Nai wangadi mani budni gani yatna, here in the yata, tandendanga, uh, Children's Book uh, Council of Australia, uh, ku uh, mukundu. Hello and welcome. My name is Mickey O'Brien. I'm a descendant of the Ghana Mena people of the Adelaide Plains. Today I come to you through the lightning brain being the computer. And it's wonderful that we can welcome you today wherever you are across this nation. Because the welcome is saying, are you well when you come to a place? And I hope you are well. But it's also saying, where have we been and where are we going? Because our face tells us where we've been, but our heart tells us where to go. And that's very important. Today we call upon the spirit people of our ancestors to bring goodness to you and to send away that sadness that sometimes lingers upon us all. But today is a special time because we're here to celebrate those who have been shortlisted with these beautiful books for children, which are really important part of our landscape. And I want to tell this story about how the great elders didn't want to give the knowledge and the wisdom to the children. And so they decided to hide it. And so one elder said, let's put it in the tallest mountains. Another elder said, let's put it in the deepest caves. And another elder said, let's put it in the deepest oceans. And one elder said, no, we don't hide it in those places because they'll find it there because they're great explorers. And so this elder said, let's hide it in the last place they look. And they all looked and said, where is that? And they said, in our hearts. Because knowledge and wisdom, we certainly collect in our heads. But it's when we use it in our hearts that gives us the ability to use it for good, for ourselves, for our community and others. And so I want you to look for that knowledge and wisdom in your hearts, because it's in each one of us. And so that when we come together, we can share that knowledge and wisdom, because no one person holds all the knowledge and wisdom in the world. And so stories were told to teach us, but they also were memory codes and many other things for enjoyment. So I leave you these words. Which is saying we are all brothers and sisters. Let us continue to walk the land together. Realise cultures bring us together, never divides us. And again, never say goodbye. Always say see you later. Being nakata and naitaya and thank you. Hello, I'm Mike Dumbleton. Welcome to Adelaide, South Australia. I'm a South Australian author. You might know some of my books like Digger and Cat. But today I'm walking along North Terrace in Adelaide towards the world-renowned South Australian Museum. And today's a very special day, an exciting day for all readers and book lovers, because it's the day when the Children's Book Council of Australia announces the shortlist for the Book of the Year Awards 2021. The theme this year is Old Worlds, New Worlds and Other Worlds. And there couldn't be a better place to explore all these different worlds than the South Australian Museum. Oh, I've just seen someone I know. Hang on, we'll go and have to see who it is. Hey, look who's here. I've just seen Dan and Adam. Hi guys, this is an amazing world you've found. Are you trying to find inspiration for your next books? We are, we, we love coming down here. We love like the world building. We're always finding great ideas everywhere we go. Yeah, any of this cool stuff could end up being inspiration for one of our next books. And I can see some of the books you've already written here at the top. Yeah, we have brought a couple of them down. My name's Dan McGuinness. I'm an author illustrator here in Adelaide and um, I've got a couple of my books here and I, I think you guys should check them out. And uh, my name's Adam Cece. I'm an author from here in Adelaide as well. And uh, what a coincidence, a couple of my books here as well. So yeah, check them out. So Mike, what are you doing at the South Australian Museum today? Me, I'm on an exciting journey through the museum to find the CBCA shortlist books for 2021. Would, would, you, would you two like to come with me? I would love to, Mike, but unfortunately I've got a deadline today and I have to go home and draw it, but thanks for asking. Okay. How about you, Adam? Well, unlike Dan, I have no deadline and so I can't wait. I'll see you in there, Mike. Great. Okay. Bye. See you guys. Well, Adam's already gone to the museum. How about you join us to see what the shortlist books for 2021 are? Come on, let's go and have a look. I wonder who I'll 
I'll see you next. Oh, oh, it's Janine and Katrina. Hi, guys. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, I'm Janine Bryan. I'm a children's book author from South Australia, and you might know me by my books. This one's Yong the Journey of an Unworthy Son, and this one's I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. And I'm Katrina Germain, a picture book author living on Ghana land. You might have seen some of my books in the My Dad Thinks He's Funny series, or my brand new book, which is coming out later this year, called Before You Were Born. And what are you guys doing here today? Ah, uh, we're here to announce... The shortlist for the CBCA 2021 Older Readers category. And the nominees are... Metal Fish, Falling Snow by Kath Moore, published by Text Publishing. Peter Lyers Rating Normal by Anna Watley, published by Alan and Unwin. The End of the World is Bigger Than Love by Davina Bell, published by Text Publishing. The Lost Soul Atlas by Zana Fralian, published by Hachette Australia. When Rain Turns to Snow by Jane Godwin, published by Hachette Australia. Where We Begin by Christy Neiman, published by Pan Macmillan Australia. I've got to go guys, there are more writers in the museum and I've got to find them. <laughs> See ya. Bye. See you later. Okay. See you. Bye bye. See you later. There are writers all over the museum. Hi Mandy, hi Mike. Hi Mike. Hi Mike. Hi, I'm Mandy Foote and I'm a South Australian children's book author and illustrator. You may have seen some of my books, Joey and Riley and The Hip Hop Barn. Hi, and I'm Mike Lucas. I'm a South Australian children's author. You may have seen some of my books, Olivia's Voice and Vanishing. I keep meeting different writers, so what are you doing here? We're here to announce the Younger Readers category for the CBCA Shortlist 2021. And the nominees are... Asta's Good Right Things by Kate Gordon, published by Riveted Press. Bindi by Curly Saunders, illustrated by Dub Leffler, published by Magabala Books. The Book of Chance by Sue Whiting, published by Walker Books Australia. The Stolen Prince of Cloudburst by Jacqueline Moriarty, illustrated by Kelly Camby, and published by Alan and Unwin. We Are Wolves by Katrina Nanestad, published by HarperCollins Publishers. Worst Things, written by Sally Murphy, illustrated by Sarah Davis, and published by Walker Books Australia. I've got to go, more different worlds to see. Bye. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. I've just seen some other people I know. It's Danny and Elaine. Hi Mike, how are you going? Hello. Hey Mike, how are you? Hi, I'm Elaine Webster. I'm an Australian children's and young adult author. You might know some of my titles, Sensitive and The Centre of My Everything. And I'm Danny Snell and I'm an Australian children's book illustrator. You may have seen some of my books. This one is called Let's Go Strolling. So what are you both doing here? Well, we're checking out the Story Necklace, which is a celebration of Aboriginal women's knowledge and a collaboration of 21 artists. That looks fabulous. It's a, it's a world all of its own. It certainly is. And we're also here to announce the shortlist for the CBCA Early Childhood Category 2021. And the nominees for the Early Childhood Category are... An Enemy Is Not The Enemy by Anna McGregor, published by Scribble Kids Books. Busy Beaks by Sarah Allen, published by Affirm Press. No, Never, written by Libby Haythorn and Lisa Haythorn Jarman, illustrated by Mel Pierce and published by Hachette Australia. There's No Such Thing by Heidi McKinnon, published by Alan and Unwin. We Love You Magoo by Bryony Stewart, published by Penguin Random House Australia. Who's Your Real Mum? Written by Bernadette Green, illustrated by Anna Zobel, published by Scribble Kids Books. See you guys, I've got to go. I've got some more exploring to do in the museum to find some more fantastic new worlds. See you, Mike. Bye, Mike. With each new world, I'm finding more writers to talk to. There's Sean and Charlotte. Hi Mike. Hi Mike. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlotte Barkler. I'm a South Australian children's author. Maybe you've read some of my books, like All Bodies Are Good Bodies. 
and the Edie's Experiment series. I'm Sean Williams and I'm also a South Australian author. Some of my books include Impossible Music and The Stone Mage and the Sea. And what are you doing here? Well, we are here for the picture book category of the CBCA 2021 shortlist. And the nominees are Ellie's Dragon by Bob Graham, published by Walker Books Australia. How to Make a Bird by Meg McKinlay, illustrated by Matt Otley, published by Walker Books Australia. Norton and the Bear by Gabrielle Evans, published by Burbay Publishing. Not Cute by Philip Bunting, published by Scholastic Australia. The Unwilling Twin by Freya Blackwood, published by HarperCollins Publisher. Your Birthday Was the Best by Maggie Hutchings, illustrated by Felicita Sala, published by Fan Press. Well done guys, I've, I've got to go. I'm off to another really ancient world. I'm off to Egypt. Wow. Come on. Oh. Have fun. Well, it's been great in the museum here today, but, but what's that? That's Charlie and uh, Phil, is that Phil? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hi, Mike. We're actually here for the Children's Book Council of Australia shortlist announcement for 2021 for the Eve Pownell Award. Uh, but why are you dressed like that? Because it's our favourite room in the whole museum and we thought we'd try a bit of wrapping. Oh, <laughs> please go ahead. <laughs> Wrap him up completely. <laughs> So I'm becoming a mummy, Mike. <laughs> and your books, you've got your books, Charlie? Great. Oh, I have, yeah. I've just got one here. So I'm Charlie Archbold, and this is one of my books, Mally Boys. Well, look, hi. I'm Phil Cummings. I'm an Australian children's book author. You might know some of my books. I've got two of them with me today, Feathers and Boy. It's great to see you, Mike. I'm glad you're here because we are just about to do the announcement for the 2021 Eve Panel category. Fantastic. This, can you make sure that you, you, you do it before you actually wrap his mouth up? <laughs> this be, um, I want to, can I help? Yeah, this this, this could be really idea. good. <laughs> so the nominees are Azaria, A True History by Marie Coop, published by Melbourne Style Books. Dry to Dry, The Seasons of Kakadu by Pamela Freeman and illustrated by Liz Anelli and published by Walker Books Australia. Hold on! Saving the Spotted Handfish by Gina M. Newton, illustrated by Rachel Travell, published by CSIRO Publishing. Matthew Flinders, Adventures on Leaky Ships by Carol Wilkinson and illustrated by Prue Pittock, published by Wild Dog Books. Strangers on Country, by David Hartley and Kirsty Murray and illustrated by Dub Leffler, published by National Library of Australia. The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Dangerous Animals by Sammy Bailey, published by Hachette Australia. Oh, I've got to go guys, well done. So many writers, so many different worlds to see. See you guys. Okay, Bye. see you Mike. Bye. Bye. Well, that's it I think, but what a fantastic day it's been. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, it, oh, sorry about that. It's Jane and Sally. Hello, I'm Jane Jolly. I'm an Australian author, and you might know me from Star of Anise or The Man with Small Hair. I'm Sally Heinrich. I'm a South Australian writer, illustrator. Um, you might have seen one of my books, maybe One Step at a Time or Papa Sky. So, what are you doing here? Well, we're here to introduce the nominees for the 2021 CBCA Book of the Year Award for New Illustrators. And the nominees are Go Away Worry Monster, illustrated by Robin Tatlow Lord, written by Brooke Graham and published by EK Books. No, Never, illustrated by Mel Pierce, written by Libby Haythorn and Lisa Haythorn Jarman and published by Hachette Australia. Ribbit Rabbit Robot, illustrated by Sophia Carmenzina, written by Victoria McKinlay and published by Scholastic Australia. Seven Seas of Fleas by Dave Petzold, published by Starfish Bay Publishing. Shirley Purdy, My Story, Nagaginbe Jarag Bay by Shirley Purdy, 
published by Magapala Books. This Small Blue Dot by Zeno Sorda, published by Thames and Hudson Australia. Well, I think that's all the categories, so congratulations to all the nominees for the shortlist for the CBCA 2021. And I've actually got a big job now. I've got to find Adam. He's somewhere around the museum. So see you guys. See, see you later. Bye. Wow, that's incredible. It's a, these are fossils. These are fossils, but it's, it's actually a fossil wall. It's, it's definitely old worlds. This has to be. You can see every bit you look at, but. Hey, Mike. <laughs> That's not a fossil. <laughs> I think we must have found a new world. Yeah. What are you doing here, Adam? I've been wandering around the museum, checking out all the old worlds. What have you been doing? It's sensational. I've been doing the same thing, but I've been meeting people, writers from South Australia. Yeah. Ah, oh, fantastic. And I think some of them are using the old world to make their new world in their next books. That's what I've been doing, exactly. Oh, that's brilliant. It proves what we said early on. Old that's worlds, right. new worlds, another world. That's right, and spiral the new world through our books. Mike, Mike. Hang on, did you hear that? Adam. Do you hear There's, that? I think it's this side. I, I think come around here, we'll have a look. This. Can you hear me? That was it again. That's strange. strange. It's, here. it's definitely this side, it's somewhere here. I think we- Hi Mike. Wendy, what are you doing oh, here? Hi it's... Wendy. I'm Wendy Rapay, National Chair of the Children's Book Council of Australia. I just want to wish all nominees on the shortlist a huge congratulations and good luck. Hey guys, do you know what time it is? Don't you have books to write? Wendy's right, look at the time. I've got to go, I've got work to do. Namani, Nainari Justine Van Morick, and I'm the Head of Public Engagement here at the South Australian Museum. We were so glad that you visited us today and that we could share with you old worlds, new worlds and other worlds. We hope that you're inspired to seek out a new world in a book or in a museum. It's been great to join you here from the South Australian Museum here in Adelaide on the beautiful lands of the Ghana people and we hope to see you soon. So Nakatha and Nigelia, thanks and we'll see you later.